Hello, in this video I'll show you what might be one of the causes if you have a problem with the engine management system on your Operaster J and Operaster K. One of the causes might be a blown fuse or a relay. So in this video I'll show you the location of the fuses and the relays for the engine management. Before I show you the location of the fuse, uh, first I'll show you how to test uh, if, if the fuses are good or bad using a test light and a multimeter. I'm also going to show you how to test a relay using an automotive relay tester. First thing that you need to do before start testing the fuses is uh, you need to turn the ignition on. Next, uh, we'll get a test light and we'll start testing. We have to attach this uh, end of the cable somewhere on ground, either on uh, battery negative or somewhere on, on chassis ground. In my case, the battery is next to the fuse box, so I'm going to put uh, this uh, side of the cable on battery negative and I'll start testing the fuses. On the fuses, there is uh, two pins uh, on top that uh, we need to touch with the test light. Uh, and if they light, uh, if both of them light, that means the fuse is good. If only one of uh, the pins on the fuse light, that means uh, uh, the fuse is blown. Here we can see where the two pins on the fuses are, just before the 30 and after the 30 on this fuse and on the other fuses as well. So now we start touching the two, the two pins on each fuse and uh, if they the two pins light, that means the fuse is good. If one of them doesn't light, fuse is blown. If the video is useful, please like and comment on the video and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Next we're going to test uh, fuses uh, with a multimeter if they are good or bad. Uh, this is what the fuse looks like and this is the contact in the middle that connects to the two pins. If, uh, uh, it, if the contact is uh, connected, that means the fuse is good. If it's uh, burnt, that means there is an open circuit on the fuse and the uh, fuse is blown. So in order to check uh, the fuses, we need to measure their resistance. So we we'll turn the multimeter on to 20k ohms and we'll start uh, measuring. When measuring the resistance of the fuses, the resistance has to be very close to zero. First, uh, we'll check uh, the resistance of the two cables. It has to be zero as well. And now we'll start uh, testing the fuses. It, if it shows uh, something close to zero, fuse is good. If it says, if it doesn't show anything, that means uh, fuse is blown off. If it shows a lot of resistance, also fuse is not good. The first one showed zero, the second one also shows uh, zero ohms, the third one shows uh, zero ohms, and the fourth one shows uh, open circuit it doesn't show any ohms nothing is changing that means this fuse is uh, blown now we see uh, what the condition of the fuse is visually uh, we can see that the contact in the middle is not connected to the uh, two pins so, so that that's why uh, it doesn't show any resistance because it's an open circuit. So we'll measure the fuses again just to be sure. This one shows oil which means open circuit. This one is uh, zero ohms that means fuse is good. This one also zero and this one is also zero.
Next I'll show you how to test uh, relay using an automotive relay tester. Uh, this is a tester for 4 pin or 5 pin uh, relay. Uh, this is where the, we put the pins depends on their, their formation. And after we put in the relay, we press test and uh, it will start uh, showing if, it, if the relay is working. First, we need to connect uh, the two cables for the relay tester onto battery positive and battery negative. Next, we get the relay. We can see that it's a four pin relay, so we'll put it. Uh, where uh, where it's going to sit just in the top right hand corner and put it on four pin and then we'll press uh, the button test when we press the button test if uh, the light goes uh, flashing green that means the the relay is working if it goes uh, red that means the relay is not working in our case it's flashing green so that means that the relay is good. Next I'm going to show you the main fuse boxes on this Opel Astra J. One of the fuse boxes is in the engine bay next to the battery. It's uh, right there underneath uh, this uh, cover. We we'll remove the cover and that's the, that's the fuse box. There is another small fuse box just behind the main fuse box. It's right there. Next I'll show you the fuse box uh, which is in the fascia, it's underneath the dashboard. You need to remove this uh, plastic uh, panel in order to access the fuse box. And that's the fuse box right there in the fascia. There is another fuse box on this car, it's in the baggage compartment. We'll open up the baggage compartment and it's on the left side. Next we'll remove this cover and we can see the fuse box in the load area is that there. So there are three uh, main fuse boxes in total, one in the engine bay, one in the fascia and one in the load area. Next I'm going to show you the location of the fuses for this Opel Astra J and Opel Astra K. In the fuse box diagram you will see uh, some of the fuse boxes are up to 2014, that's Opel Astra J and others are from 2015 up, which is Opel Astra K. I'm going to type in the search tab uh, engine management and it will show me all the fuses and relays related to the engine management. First, I'll show you the location of the fuses, which are in the engine bay area for the up to, to 2014 model. It's a number three relay. F1 fuse, 10 amp fuse. F2, 10 amp fuse. F3, 15 amp fuse. F8 7.5 amp fuse F53 7.5 amp fuse
Next, I'll show you the location of the fuses in the relays for the 2015 and the model. They're in the engine bay. So it's F1 20 amp fuse, F2 10 amp fuse, F3 15 amp fuse, and F4 15 amp fuse. F8 7.5 amp fuse F15 10 amp fuse F53 10 amp fuse F54 7.5 amp fuse F53 10 amp fuse and F39 20 amp fuse There's also a relay, number 3 uh, relay and also F55 and 80 amp fuse. Thank you for watching.